So this tower that I'm in is 15 blocks high, which should be plenty high enough to prevent the zombos to go into rage mode when they fall down. Uh, at least that's the theory. Welcome back, everybody, to Seven Days to Die. I'm the Bearded OG, and this is the Insane Nightmare Series. It is Horde Night 21, and we are about ready to take on the Horde. Uh, I do have three skill points that I have gotten from all of the building and harvesting and stuff that we did. Uh, so we're going to put one more point into Perception, so that way we can put another point into Demolitions Expert. 20% uh, increased damage basically, and 10% greater chance to dismember. And I think also uh, we have one more point. I think we're going to go ahead and put that into Penetrator because we're not going to put that into Penetrator because we don't have enough. Okay, never mind. <laughs> um, instead, let's go back to Strength and let's put the other point into Skull Crusher. Uh, Mauler. So now Sledgehammers deal 20% more damage. 30% chance to knock down enemies with power attacks. Stamina costs are reduced by 15 and 30% for power attacks. And find more sledge parts and loots. Okay, well, let's do this. Um, I have 100 pipe bombs, so we're going to use quite a bit of explosives tonight, um, at least to get the party started anyway. So we'll just pop those down there and then go into the corner. And we already got our first bag. I did uh, harvest enough metal to upgrade these three uh, diagonal blocks uh, to metal. Oh, look at that. Nice. Hey, you can't get up here. That is not allowed. So this design's kind of cool because, you know, we can shoot, we can melee, we can blow up. And, uh, yeah, it's pretty nice. Uh, Pseudo Posse is where I got this idea from, by the way. I did mention that in the last episode. In case you didn't catch that episode, yeah. <laughs> well, I blew the shite out of him, didn't we? So, yeah, um, I'm expecting this to go well, but, you know, you never know what's going to actually happen until it happens. Why don't we go ahead and light these guys up a little bit? Oh, that... Well, yeah, I guess I got over there. Okay, we're going to have to be careful of the fire so we don't get into it ourselves. Let's go on over onto this side. I think that may have fallen all the way down, yeah. That's okay though, because it'll it will help uh, with whatever's down there. Hey, look at that, buzzards coming in and they cannot touch us. Suck it, dude. You can piss off. Okay, let's do a little bit of melee here. So this tower that I'm in is 15 blocks high, which should be plenty high enough to prevent the zombos to go into rage mode when they fall down. Uh, at least that's the theory. If our tower collapses tonight, we'll know that is not a correct theory. But we'll see how things go. This is a nice little design so far, man. It seems to be working quite well. <laughs> Alright, let's check our... Uh... Oh yeah, this thing has like, got so many hit points. Yeah, we're, we're in really good shape. We don't even need to think about repairing right now. I mean, we will keep an eye on it, of course, but we're in super good shape here. And I've got, as you can see, three ladders, so that way if they do happen to break, you know, break one, we have two fallbacks.
Oh. That bird disappeared right when I thought about, eh, I should probably harvest him. This would probably not be a bad setup for a spear. Just, you know, because of the way that it's arranged here. But, I mean, I can hit him pretty easily with the sledgehammer too, so it's not like that's a difficult thing to do. Getting headshots is a little more challenging, but we're making it happen, man. We are making it happen. The nice thing too about the bombs is it'll hit any zombos across the way too, so it's not just the ones in that particular corner. Right. Let's do a little bit of shoddy action here. We can load so much faster with this than we could with the pipe. So nice. So yeah, I, I I don't know what's going on down below in terms of um, you know them attacking the the tower, but hopefully it's not anything too you know major. We have, um, whoops. We have the bandolier mod and something else too that allows us to reload more quickly. Possibly, you know, one of the books or something that we read. One bad thing about this design is we don't really have any opportunity to get, um, you know, bags and stuff, but it's, it seems to be a pretty safe design, so there is that, at least. XP for that. That one fell down at the bottom and got him. We should be able to throw right through here too. Oh shit. Maybe not. <laughs> Maybe if we get a little closer. Yeah, that, that worked okay, I suppose. I do hear dogs down there and, and you know, dogs can't climb the ladder, so. Oh shit. Ow. Okay, let's see. What if we... Throw through there. Yeah, it's a little bit hit and miss, but I am mildly concerned about dogs because they they will hit on the tower down below. But theoretically, we should be able to take care of them with pipe bombs. Get enough of them down there. Oh. Oh, yeah, okay. okay. It got really quiet all of a sudden, but I don't see any broken ladders. What the hell's going on? Well, more of them are coming in. Okay. Right, they're coming. Guess we just killed them faster than they could keep up with us, maybe, huh? Everything's in really good condition. Yeah, 
Yeah, it's hard to, to get one through there. It's actually almost easier to throw them through that corner there. Sixteen hundred XP for that one. Nice. Get some uh, more pipe bombs on our toolbar. Let's burn these guys. We'll come over to this side. Good shotgun uh, base, especially if you can get, you know, multiple penetrations. Look at him, he got all the way up there. Check this. Yeah, it's all in really good shape. A little bit of damage, nothing major. Okay, let's light him up again. Level. Nice. Trying to get in here, are you, buddy? There you go. You're in here now. Not that it did you any good. Lots of bikers tonight. Get a double there. <laughs> nice. We like doubles.
Shotgun's doing work tonight, man. Okay, we got an incoming buzzer. Fuck off, bird. What if we throw through here? Yeah, we got that one through. Maybe down below? Hmm. No shit. Copper! Coppers aren't allowed. No coppers allowed. It's our first Horde Knight copper we've seen. If I was just a little bit faster, I could almost grab those bags, but... Thing is, is you don't really know when they're gonna come, you know. All right, let's do a, do a check here. Top that one off. Ladders seem to be in pretty good shape overall. Somebody left their hand up here. Okay, let's take a look, see. Yeah, ladders seem to be good. Uh, we do have some dogs down below, so... Let's see if we can get some pipe bombs down there to deal with them. And we also got a buzzard. Okay. It doesn't seem to work very well if I'm like right up close to it. If I get back a little bit, I can get it through a little better. But not always. Definitely our best bet going through the corner there. Is that a cop or a buzzard that just spit? Probably a cop from down below, I'm guessing. Oh, there you are. the cops to blow up because they'll do structural damage. Right, I hear dogs. Some bombs down below to get the dogs.
more buzzards. Not anymore. Good one. It seems to be stuck in the railing there. Still hear dogs down there. Pop spit from yeah, way way down there. If we uh, use this base again, we'll have I should have all this upgraded to concrete next time. Ow. Copper. Nice. All right, we have 23 pipe bombs left, and it's about three o'clock in the morning. So far, so very good. Oh, they did break the ladders down there. spitting from down below. Got quite a few bags down there. We might be able to, if we can get a crucible before the next horde night, we could uh, potentially get the ladders upgraded to steel, make them look stronger. Alright, let's check. Everything is in really good shape, though, overall. Nothing's super damaged. Come on, Copper. He's got two skill points. Cop just blew up down below. All the the other two ladders are in really good shape though, so I'm not too concerned. Uh, let's check these. We had a little bit of cop spit, but nothing too major. Yeah, that's all in really good shape overall. If you were primarily just a, a gun dude, you know, you could just stand right here and just go to town on these fuckers. Uh, 
it sounds like he blew up. Do as well and this needs to be repaired let's just do it right now and the cop fell right before I got the fire on him buzzard It's morning. Let's get rid of the rest of these yahoos. get down there fairly soon. We got quite a few bags to loot. You know what? I don't think I don't think the dogs have been attacking the tower at all. Okay. We do still have a dog down there. Oh, we got a dire wolf. Shit. reload this and burn his ass that's pretty good though man they didn't even hardly attack the tower at all got him all right that's it ladies and gentlemen Major successful horde night. Look at that. Nice. We even have a screamer. Um, we'll read both of those. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest of these bags before they despawn. What's that? Biker gloves. All right. Tin steel. Nice. This will quality one. Uh, we already have learned uh, or read the coyotes book. 
Just a cuffs. Let's drink this. Pistol quality too. Right, let's just keep checking them. I know we're encumbered now, but we'll take whatever we can. Cooking pot landmine. Can we look at that one here. She's inside the building. All right. We're going to call this one a success, man. For sure. Um, let's actually just use those now to get rid of the encumbrance. Um, we can... Uh, let's scrap you. Actually, no, let's not even do that. Let's just throw you away. Dog food, we need that for a recipe. We don't need those. Okay, let's see if we can get the rest of the stuff. And kill this Screamy, too. Oh, Feral Screamy. Okay, we want all that stuff. Come on, Horde Knight's over. Stop this shit. Normal screamy. Alright. Are we good? So there was a little bit of attack here, and that could have actually been from uh, the dogs and or the dire wolf. So... Yeah, that worked out pretty damn good, guys. So if we uh, if we're still in this town on uh, the next horde night, horde thirty five, right? No, twenty eight, horde twenty eight. Uh, we'll probably use this again, but I'll try and have this upgraded, you know, to steel. And um, it's interesting that that particular ladder. I wonder if that was from a cop spit. Well, we'll try and have the at least this lower part upgraded to, to steel and the cobblestone parts upgraded to concrete, at least the cage parts. Maybe not this part so much. But I think that worked out quite well. And again, uh, credit goes to Pseudo Posse for this design. At least, I, I mean, I don't know if he's the one that originally came up with it, but he's the one that I I learned of it from. And he... Put out a really nice video uh, about horde-based designs in 1.0, and that's where I got the idea. So I want to definitely give him credit for it. But uh, this this worked out quite well. I'm pretty pleased with how the horde night turned out. All right, guys. Well, I'm going to go ahead and let you go here. And in the next episode, we will get back to hitting the POIs in this town. Our goal is to try and hit every POI in this town before we leave it. And uh, you know, we're well on our way. We still have a few more to do, but I'm I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get that done in a reasonable amount of time. So thanks everyone for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button and subscribe to the channel. Leave a comment, share out the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. And by the way, I'm going to take one point in 69er and um, we'll probably put one point in heavy armor. There you go. All right. See you in the next one. Bye-bye.